Hello there, this is a quick video, and if it's the first time you're passing through, I'm Blackbright. And I'm broadcasting out of the UK, into your homes, onto your phones, or wherever you're watching me from. You're welcome to like, you're welcome to subscribe, you're welcome to share, and you're welcome to interact with my existing subscribers. Existing subscribers, hi, welcome back, and thank you for keeping up with me. I just wanted to talk quickly about whether or not people are actually exploiting um, the coronavirus or should it be considered exploiting or should it be considered entre entrepreneurial expertise or having an entrepreneurial spirit. Because Thailand, in Thailand, in Bangkok, several people got arrested because what they're doing is they're finding all these used masks, washing them, ironing them and reselling them. Now, what do you think about that? But I'm sure, oh, have I got the video? But I'm sure that the people who are making the masks are not wearing the mask that they're ironing or washing. So let me see if I've got it on this one. I should have really brought it up. But yeah, here it is. Is it this one? Let me turn it up. Recycling used coronavirus masks by washing and ironing them before reselling them in Thailand. Mini life, huh? Anyway, I'm not going to go into that. I just think it's absolutely ludicrous what they're doing. I mean, how can you do that? Because there's a shortage of masks. They're washing them. They're recycling them. I don't know if by washing them you can get rid of the germs. I don't know if they're disinfecting them. But apparently they're making them look like new and they're reselling them. So you don't even know what you're buying. And I don't know if it's leaving the country or if it's staying in Bangkok. On another note, the little boy at school, well, I don't know how old he was, they didn't give us an age. He's now selling drops of sanitizer for 50p a go at school. Now, he was told to leave the premises. Do you think he should have been told to leave the premises? Or should he have been spoken to and just said it's not appropriate to do? Because he could have considered that he was helping people to sanitize their hands who didn't have sanitizer so that he could have been encouraged that that is a good business idea but it's not acceptable on the school premises but by sending him home aren't you sending him a wrong message anyway he made nine quid he says he's going to buy some um a kebab and some nachos <sighs> Ah, uh, what next? Honestly, I just have to say these little things because it's not much, but I just thought I would share them with you, you know, just to make it a little bit lighthearted. It's so much doom and gloom. Anyway, according to the Daily Mail, washing and ironing used face masks in Thailand, selling them to unsuspecting individuals. Police arrested six teenagers working at the factory and the people doing it, having the audacity to wear my face. Oh, sorry, that's me. My, my little notes, people doing it have the audacity to wear face masks themselves. Anyway, a teenager was sent home from school after being caught selling shots of hand sanitizer to his fellow people, pupils at 50p a go. I mean, it's better than selling bloody cigarettes like some of those kids do. Some of them sell their lunch. So he got kicked out of school and... I don't think he should have done because unless there is something on the um, rules and regulations that say you can't do something like that, I don't remember seeing anything at school saying you can't sell anything. I mean, are you allowed to or is it prohibited? Have they told the child it's prohibited? Did he get enough 
uh, advice and instruction. I mean, to be honest, is what is it? What's the crime to actually send him home from school? They really have their priorities wrong. If you can tell me what the crime is or what you can see wrong with what he's done. Maybe if it was disrupting the class, I doubt if he was doing it in the classroom. Um, but if it was disrupting the class, then I can understand. Or maybe somebody that couldn't afford 50p and they went and reported him. I don't know how he got found out. Anyway, he probably thought he was helping. His mum, Jennifer Tompkins from Leeds, posted a picture of him arriving home earlier than usual from Dixon Unity Academy who said it was hard to discipline her son when his dad called him an effing legend. But he said the real word. If he hadn't got into trouble, do you think he would still plan to use the £9 he made to buy a kebab? Maybe not. Maybe he would have been more inclined to be a bit more business-minded. But now he's been punished for being entrepreneurial. I don't think you're sending that child the right message. I think he should have been spoken to and just told, look, that's a fantastic idea you have, but it's just not allowed in our school. So I'd, I'd like you to refrain from doing that on the school premises. But acknowledge that it's a good idea. Acknowledge he's got an entrepreneurial spirit and then take the sanitizer away from him. Maybe even confiscate the money he made from it. But you don't kick him out of school for that. I don't think so. Anyway, the post was shared on Facebook 130,000 times. I didn't look for it. Um, but um, also visitors are stealing hand sanitizers from hospital. What next? Anyway, the school was not available for comment. And that's all I've got to say. Bye-bye.